Ikaw nga. Hi, you guys. This is Sipping and Spilling a Tea with Riviera. And I just wanted to talk about how you are the key. You are the key that's going to open the door to the life that you want, the life that you desire, the life that you are destined to have. You are that key. In life, we have purpose. If you want better, you can have better. And it's time to release and open that door to the life that you want, the life that you are destined to have. See, I realized this morning that I wanna change the narrative to my story. I realized that all the hurt, all the pain, all the struggles that I endure as a child, that seed that was planted inside of me, that seed that it was growing inside of me, all that hurt, all that pain that I was constantly holding on to, it was stopping me from walking my purpose in life. So I decided to forgive the inner child to talk to my inner child and say, I'm sorry nobody wasn't there to help you. I'm sorry nobody wasn't there to take you out of situation. I'm sorry nobody didn't uplift you. I'm sorry that nobody didn't give you encouraging words. Nobody didn't pour into you. I'm sorry. It's time for us to forgive because I decided that inner child was no longer going to drive, be in the driver's seat to my life. I decided that I hold the key to be successful. I hold the key to have a great relationship. I hold the key to be or become the woman that I know I'm designed to be. That I hold the key to the door of plenty of opportunities in life that God is constantly trying to bless me. That it's up to me to unlock the door, but how do I unlock the door? How do you start the process? I have to learn, I have to grieve. I have to go through stages of my life where I have to grieve over abandonment, being abandoned. I have to grieve over being hurt by friends and grieve by being hurt by family members and being betrayed and by people that I loved and I gave my all to relationships that failed. I learned that I have to grieve from that hurt. And all this wall that I was building brick by brick, it had on there of betrayal. It has on there um, hurt, abuse, physical, emotional, mental abuse, all these bricks with different names on there. And I decided to take a sledgehammer and put on there forgiveness. And each time I knocked each brick down, I was releasing that pain that I no longer wanted to burden anymore. So as I was knocking down my hurt, I knocked down poverty. I knocked down being hungry. I knocked down uh, being abused. I locked down of all the pain that I encountered. In each brick I kept knocking down, I started my process of healing. I started my process of growing. 
I started my process of knowing who I am and those bread angered of um, and of being abused. I finally got to see that door, that door, that door that I held the key to, that door that it unlocked me to being successful. It unlocked me to um, being happy, to experience moments, to accepting others for who they are and be kind to others and learning how to be kind to myself and learning how to have more grace for myself to understand that as human, we're going to have horrible moments. We're going to do things and have bad behavior. I learned that it's okay. But I learned that just because I made mistakes or I acted poorly in this situation, that I learned that I still have a chance to do better. I learned that, okay, now it's time for me to learn how to control my emotions, be emotionally experienced instead of emotionally inexperienced, be emotionally intelligent instead of when you're angry, it's best to sit and pray instead of always reacting, instead of always responding. I learned that my hurt from my past should not show up in my relationships that the hurt that I experienced from others in my past, people in my presence should not endure that pain. So when I unlocked that door and start my healing and started to love on myself and started to really get in the grip of my emotions, I open a door for forgiveness. I open a door for, for hope. I open up the door for compassion. And I lock so many things that I have another chance to do and be better. It's up to us to sit decide. Are you going to continue to carry the weight of poverty? Are you going to continue to carry the weight that your mother wasn't there for you or your father wasn't there for you? Are you going to continue to carry that weight of the person who broke your heart that betrayed you? You guys thought you guys were going to be together forever. They cheated on you. They lied on you or they abused you. Are you going to continue to hold on to all that pain and carry brick by brick by brick and carry it on? each season of your life, each year on your life, keep holding on to that pain? Are you going to tear down that wall and unlock the door that's standing right behind that brick wall that's waiting for you, that's, that's there for you, that's trying to show you, hey, you deserve this. Are you going to open the door to what you deserve, the door, what you know that God is trying to bless you with, that door that God is trying to say, give me your worries. Give me your pain and let me free you. Let me release your struggle. Are you going to, are you willing to accept and give it all to God? Grieve. Focus on what you learn in that pain. For you don't have to pass it on to your children. So you don't have to paint this negative, uh, this negative image to your children. It's time for us to sit and heal. It's time for us to remove all these things that we didn't have as as children. It's time for us to move all the hate, the hurt that that our ex-lovers and our ex-partners gave to us. It's time for us to really remove and focus on healing. Focus on growing 
so we can unlock that door for we can be better, for we can finally get the fruits that God has blessed us to have. God made promises to us. He said, I will give you anything you ask for, anything if you just believe and have faith in me. He said, I will give you everything. But it's up to us to forgive. It's up to us to let go of the hurt and pain and pass it on to him and not to carry it around to our next chapter. Because when you carry it around, it's going to show up in your next relationship. It's going to show up in your next friendship. It's going to show up in places and you're going to still be stuck where you're at, not unlocking that door. It's going to show up everything you do and people are going to see the pain you have. People are going to see the hurt you have. When are you going to forgive yourself and forgive the people that hurt you in your childhood? When are you going to release it? When are you going to forgive those and move on? For you can walk in your purpose, for you can align in your purpose so that you, so that you can be successful, so that you can have a loving relationship because you deserved to experience good love. You deserve to experience a trusting partner. You deserve, and people deserve to see the healed version of yourself. People deserve to see the person that you are trying to be, not the broken you, not the hurt you, not the the one who is still going through mommy issues or daddy issues, or you can't trust nobody and you ever forgive nobody. People deserve to really feel the heal, happy, joyful, loving version of yourself. You hold the key to open the doors to your purpose. You hold the key to accept new blessings and new chapters in your life. Don't let your past mistakes, don't let your, don't let your childhood and all that hurt and pain distract you what you need to do. The order for us to be successful in life, in order for us to really get everything our hearts desires we it starts with us we are the key to the new life that we want we are we hold the key to it the question is when are you going to decide to let go and grieve your loss of a mother grieve the loss of your father grieve the loss of you being abused, grieve the loss of you being mistreated, grieve the loss of you being being hurt and being people haven't shown up for you. Soon as you grieve all those horrible moments and times and really see the beauty and get the lessons out of it, you will be able to unlock that door of new beginnings and accept the new blessings that God has for you. But it's up to you when you are ready to become the person that God designed you to be. And remember, it's going to be hard to let go. It's going to be hard to welcome people in your life. It's going to be hard to accept people, and there's, you're going to have triggers, you're going to have some type of flashbacks, but it's okay. And sometimes you're going to have horrible moments where you act out of character or you fall short, but have grace for yourself. Be kind to yourself and know that you're on the right path and break down each brick 
each brick in your life that caused pain. And you will start seeing that door and you'll be able to unlock that door and you will truly be within your purpose. I'm wishing you guys all but love, kind, kind, please be kind to yourself, please be kind to others, and blessings. And remember, you have the power, you have the key to a better life, and that your season is just a season, your circumstance is just a circumstance. But you will repeat the same seasons unless you're willing to change, unless you're willing to let go of the hurt, and unless you're willing to be the better person than you were 24 hours ago. It's up to you. I believe in you and I have faith in you and I know you can do it. Start to plant your seed and let your harvest be fruitful. <laughs>